superstars obviously are 550 students that are exhibiting here. Uh, we have over 1,200 students uh, this year. Uh, on top of that then we have uh, our past winners, our alumni showcase is going to be here. So past winners Emily Duffy, Kate and Annie Madden uh, and, and several others are going to be here at our showcase. We also have Rio Ferdinand here and Graham Hacklin from Formula One, uh, Williams Formula One Racing uh, for the Dream It Do It exhibition. Uh, and talk, which is to encourage disadvantaged students to enter into science, technology and sports. I really want, at the BT Young Scientists this year, the children watching my shows to make two noises. They've got to go, wow, because I know I've really caught their attention. But I also need them to go, ah, because then they've got the idea that underpins the science. And that's really why we're here. The show's called The Ultimate Science Show. There will be liquid nitrogen, huge great big plumes of liquid nitrogen. We're going to be exploding balloons filled full of hydrogen. And I've got the largest Van de Graaff, certainly in Ireland, it may even be the largest Van de Graaff generator in uh, Europe at the minute to play with. So there's going to be lots of fun. Our hope initially will be that the 53rd young scientist will be better than the 52nd, because that's the rules we always make. Certainly when we started, we thought, would it work? and even after a couple would it continue to work and it's been my amazement that it's continued to grow and be so successful. There's a number of trends looking in terms of the environment, how the, the environment is affected by certain influences, uh, looking at alternate energy sources, the effect on the climate change, all of these ones are coming in and it reflects what's happening in the world outside and young people are looking at what's happening in the world outside and try to see can they find something about what's happening and that's what it's all about.